Hi, it's Keith here from Kiss Studio, and we just received some new goodies from Photo Geeks for the studio. Uh, we just moved in not long ago, and within the studio we set up some lighting areas. So we've got three lighting areas to do. So we thought about another lighting kit would be great to use and something extra if we want additional lighting. Uh, the one we got is the Color E250. It comes with two flash heads, light stands, trigger, umbrella, and octoboxes. boxes. Um, what we're going to do is just do a quick unboxing video just to show you what you get in the kit and what we're going to use with it. So this is the box we've got with all the goodies inside. So this here, this is the carry case that comes for the lights and it's got everything held within there so you've got all the lights and the light stands and things like that. So if you need to transport the lights about then you can put these in here so if you're going from your studio to your home and you want to shoot then you've got them there or if you need to go on a different location to someone else's studio then this is what you need. Uh, the bag's quite very heavy duty and uh, it's a roller style bag with handles so if you see in the bottom you've got some wheels there so you can drag it along it's got straps and other things so you can carry it or wheel it and it's got some strong stitching on it so it's going to be nice and rugged and last for quite a while and there's sufficient padding in here to keep everything secure and safe and make sure nothing gets broken so just opening the bag here and as you can see here open the bag everything's in a set of dividers and spaced evenly so you've got lights in one end over here in the middle and at the sides you've got the, the plugs and triggers and anything else you need like modern lamps and modern bulbs. So let's get some stuff out. So you've got here the triggers. These are the gym by ones and have a hundred meters radius shooting. So you can shoot from hundred meters away. I don't know why you would do that but you can still use them. And they've got 16 channels which makes it very easy so you can select a channel. So especially in a studio environment like this when we've got multiple lights we can have lights working and they're not triggering each other when they're doing that and there's also up to one two fifty of a second sync speed so you can use these up to then so looking inside of here we've also got the modern lights to go in the lights and these are just your standard bulbs in here we've also got two power leads to be used with the lights and they're just the standard UK plug so they can fit in anywhere and they look to be quite long as well so you'd be able to use the lights wherever you want without any constraints so if you wanted to put one over there, one over there, that would be fine, you wouldn't need any extension leads so we'll just uh, have a bit of talk about the lights themselves so in the package you get some little instructions and just tell you a bit about the light as you can see here these are uh, the Color E250 black flash heads and made of quite made of plastic and they've got a matte finish so they don't feel too slippy and so it's nice and to put in your hands. There you go, some nice air vents here so it would prevent overheating. And there's also an infrared sensor on the top. And on the back here, you've got a digital display so you can show how much power the light is currently set to. There's also an option on your power switch so you can turn it on with or without the modern light. And there's also a sync slot here so you can plug the trigger in and that also means if you've got your own triggers which you want to use you can use them. Uh, there's also a button here with a little eye on and this is used so if you want to have a multi light setup and using speed lights and things like that you can set it up so when your speed light goes off it will trigger this flash as well which is quite good so for big light ups that's good and the only thing that I can see so far is the the light stand bracket seems a bit flimsy, but it's only to be expected and we'll see how that goes over time, see if that holds up. And I'll just go underneath. So underneath here, you've got the case divider, with all your dividing slots. And here, you've got your, your light stands, your umbrella, your octoboxes, and everything else to be used with the lights. So, cut them out. So, we've got the light stands here, and when they're erect, they are two meters. And they're pretty heavy duty and be able to withstand battering when you're using them like in use or if they're in transit. So I'll just get these out. So 
so yeah, they're pretty heavy duty, you can use them later. I've also, in here we've got a, an umbrella. So here it's got silver on the inside and white on the outside. See there, that's a nice material. But I think it's, it might be a bit flimsy, so if you use it on location with the wind, it might not be good, but it'd be good for light use in the, at home or in the studio. I've also got a softbox and an octobox here. You've got one for the main light, one for the fill light, whichever your choice, depending on what sort of lighting you, you get set up. So I'll just open one here. We've got uh, four splints here and the Octobox comes with eight. And you've also got a nice heavy duty attachment, which is heavy duty plastic, and that'll attach good. You've also got a wide diffuser to go over the front and one to be used inside. And also, this is the one of the softbox Octoboxes. Uh, made up with sort of quite heavy duty material, which seems durable. And they both have silver insides and they've got Velcro fastenings. So, your diffusers with velcro there on the back you've got velcro so you can connect it and the silver on the inside of these has a, a raised pattern so you can deflect light in different ways and i think overall it seems to be a very good kit to be used in the studio or at home and you can use it for all sorts of things from portraits to products to family portraits just put up against the wall and shoot them from there and we're going to be creating another couple of videos soon which shows the lights being set up and actually shooting them and doing various things with them. So if you want to find out more or buy these lights, there's a link included below, so you can head over to the Photo Geeks website. You can read more and you can purchase them from there. And thanks for watching, that's it. Remember to like the video and subscribe, and see you later, bye.